It is natural for one to develop a facade to influence how people perceive us. Some project an image of perfection to mask their basic insecurities. Others don't have the luxury of worrying about first impressions. And some people find their best intentions often backfire. Yes, we all veil our truths, but how we leave an impression is what defines us. Submerged bear limbs like aquatic hornets quickly devouring the what now delicious legs unable to move away the dying beast lets out a mighty roar warning his clan that the waters are no longer safe and so the cycle of life continues with graceful speed and temerity what are you talking about upon the hunter, knocking the rifle from his grasp The startled hunter reaches for his knife in a desperate attempt to defend himself, but it's too late. What are you doing digging around in my garden? Have you no shame? He's already begun to claw and peck out the eyes of the hunter. He screams and wildly flails away at his avian attacker. And so, the psychic... I spend a lot of time tending to my garden. Is there anything wrong about taking the proper precautions to protect it? I don't like your tone. Just, what are you getting at? I'm pretty thirsty. This jungle heat is unbearable. If the legends are true, just inside this chamber, we should find what we have come for. There it is. The ultimate refreshment. Oh, it's just a case of Senor Quinty's malt beverage. Yes, indeed, Stevens. Isn't that beautiful? See how the frosty bottles glisten in the torchlight. It looks so cold and smooth. Oh, brother, we have that back home. <sighs> Marvelous. It's all I ever dreamed of. Well, that was certainly an interesting way to waste several minutes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some things I need to take care of. To come all the way down here to have a cold bottle of Senior Quenchies. Indeed, young Stevens. But sometimes in life, it's better to seek out adventure and risk life. In well, I could protest, but why bother? You got me. Those pesky animals make a wonderful fertilizer, by the way. Or enjoyed with my mates while eating pizza and watching the game. Splendid idea. I'll go ask the natives if they can point us to the lost city of comfortable couches. So, what now? You found out my big, dark secret. What are you going to do about it? Oh, no, please don't. At my age, I wouldn't survive jail for any length of time. Besides that, I feel... Terrible about what I did to those poor animals. I hardly sleep at night. It was all my husband's fault. Well, he didn't literally force me to do it, but it's complicated, so let me explain. Rod was the love of my life. Unfortunately, I wasn't the love of his. He had this dog, Sparky. 
and he spent all of his time with him. To be honest, it was embarrassing how he fawned over that mutt. Well, since Rod never gave me any attention, I, I had no choice but to take up a hobby. So I took up gardening. Ugh, but that little bastard Sparky. He would always dig up whatever I had just planted. <laughs> Strawberries, carrots, lilies, it didn't matter. Well, instead of punishing his little mutt for his little forays into my garden, Rod would encourage it. So one day, I decided to teach that mutt a lesson. I put a little rat poison near the rose garden. I didn't think it'd be enough to kill him. I was just trying to get him sick, so he wouldn't go near it anymore. Marvelous. It's all I ever dreamed it would be, and more. Stevens here. Open one up for yourself. Thank you, sir. Of course, Rod didn't know I had accidentally killed Sparky. I, I wasn't sure what to do with the body, so I buried it in my garden. Once Rod noticed Sparky was gone, I planted the seed, so to speak, uh, that the dog had run off. Rod was depressed for weeks. I think he thought I might have done something because he was very standoffish. Shortly after that, Rod left me for that other woman. From that point on, my garden is all I have left. Only the next time an animal tried to ruin my garden, I was ready. Look, I know I wasn't being rational, but my garden was all I had left. And it was so easy to get rid of them. Another lost pet. Huh, big deal. No one takes any notice. Then I decided to move on to preemptive strikes. If an animal looked at my garden funny, he was a goner. And they made such great fertilizer, too. Oh, my garden has never looked better. I don't know. I think I'm too old to change. Hey, boy. Dogs love meat. Even meat from animals you've never heard of. Oh, you're right. I'll do my best to change. If you could find it in your heart to keep the secret between the two of us, I would be forever in your debt. Into familiar shapes, your dog will love. Hey, boy, come on, make it Blanco. Oh, thank you.
What are you doing here? What do you want? A voracious piranha, and they hunger for fresh bear meat. The little fish devils swarm around the Sorry isn't cutting it. What I need is someone to stop whoever's doing this. Bear's delicious legs, unable to move away, the dying beast lets out a mighty roar, warning his clan that the waters are no longer safe. And so, the cycle of life continues. With graceful speed and temerity, the swooping falcon descends upon the hunter, knocking the rifle from his grasp. Yeah, I have a strong suspicion. It was Julie Mayer. The startled hunter reaches for his knife in a desperate attempt to defend himself, but it's too late. The madly flapping assailant has already begun to claw and peck out the eyes of the hunter. He screams and wildly flails away at his avian attacker. So, like I know what's going on in that little nerdy brain of hers. Hey boy. She's probably still pissed that your son stood her up. For me. Meat from animals you've never heard of. Lamco's meat snacks are imported from a variety of countries with laws far less stringent than our own. Large loads of Yeah? I heard that she was calling all the guys at school and telling them I slept with your son. So, it's definitely her. Who else could it be? It certainly wasn't your son. Not that I wouldn't have minded, but he never got anywhere with me. My mom made sure of that. I'm still pretty pissed off at your son, though. We gotta get out of here. He should be defending me. He hasn't said or done anything to tell people it wasn't me. All I'm saying is that if he'd defend me, then everyone would know he was innocent. I'll save you a seat in heaven. Dogs love meat. Even meat from animals you've never heard of. Lamco's meat snacks are important. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Come on. Isn't it obvious? It's your son. Well, because your son was putting those flyers around, Danielle is convinced I did it. And now she hates me. So now she's spreading that around school. Everyone thinks I'm some kind of psychotic skank. The worst thing is that even though I didn't do it, I've been ripping down the flyers whenever I see them. I still feel bad for Danielle, even if she's gone all psycho on me. Wait, he didn't do it? What? Are you accusing me now?
Well, for your information, I'm innocent. And if you think I would actually be capable of something like that, then I'm done talking with you. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I'm not going to do that. Listen, Miss Detective Housewife, I'm not in the mood for your little games. Are you done yet? Oh, really? Is there another subject you'd like to harass me about? I really didn't know Mr. Fox all that well. I wouldn't know what to write. That doesn't make sense. Shouldn't this be like a personal message or something? <sighs> Sounds a little weird to me, but okay. What should I write? Wow, I didn't realize you cared about Daniel so much. It's so sweet of you to do this in his memory. Here's my message to add to your book.
so real. Mom, I told you, I'm innocent. Well, Tabitha made me tell her my password while we were, uh, dating. You think she did this? I don't know. Mom, I told you, I'm innocent. And now you believe I didn't write it? Well, who do you think wrote it then? Sure, Mom. Anything. You want me to write, Danielle is easy? Is this a trick? All right, if you think it's best, here you go. Hey, hon. You've got that look on your face. Tell me, what's on your mind? Ah, that, yeah. <laughs> don't remind me. I don't know what I was thinking wearing a ruffled shirt with that tuxedo. It's hard to believe that wasn't... Now you, on the other hand, haven't changed a bit since the day we walked down the aisle. I'm just being truthful. Can I help it if you're still the reason I get up in the morning, honey? You little devil. What do you say we take this conversation upstairs? In memory of our wedding night, of course. You are still the woman of my dreams. That was fantastic. I'm still trembling.
You are amazing as always, dear. I still can't believe how beautiful you are. It gets better every time.
Good day, ma'am. What can I do for you? Really? Well, uh, I'm on duty and, uh... Well, ma'am, that's confidential information. I really have to keep working. Good day, ma'am.
Okay, okay. Maybe I can help you out, but I'm gonna need an incentive. You know, it's funny, that kind of thing actually happens sometimes. It's amazing how things can fall between the cracks. Here's a copy of the order form that came with the package you were asking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really have to get back to work. Yeah? What do you want? What are you talking about? You can't be serious. Besides, th th there's no way to prove I sent Allison those emails. Okay, maybe I did send a few emails to her. What does that prove? Yeah, sure. You're a regular detective, aren't you? A little old to be sneaking around the neighborhood poking into people's mailboxes, aren't you? That's ridiculous. Why would I do that? I have nothing against the poor girl. That's an interesting theory. But how do you prove that I wrote the message? It's not like there was a signature on it or anything. So? So, what exactly are you going to do about it? I don't need to do anything. There's no way you can get me in trouble. My father is a close friend of the sheriff, as well as a longtime member of the city council. I'm untouchable in this town, honey. You're just trying to scare me. <laughs> I don't believe you. Uh, wait a second. Let's talk about this. Maybe we can make a deal. Wait, please, show some mercy. Thank you. 